Mm-hmm. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show from the Napa Auto Parts Studios. I'll tell you what, today, that extra dose of handsome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank I, you. I, I really appreciate I took that. A shower. I, uh, wow. You took a shower? I shave. What happened? Is it uh, the summer solstice? What, what about uh, a sh- uh, <laughs> shave, shower, and... Sh- uh, He's your friend. You realize that, right? And you traumatized me yesterday when I drove you around. I can't uh-huh. imagine screaming at me the whole day like I'm having Morgan you Freeman in the car. And you're Jessica Tandy. <laughs> we're in the car. We're in the car. We found telling gets... him exactly what to do at every turn. Well, no, he's he was driving me back to pick up my car, which I was having faced. Inching and... forward. Hey, chick. Yeah. Over there at the OrangeInSouls.com yep. sports. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Josh. How much would you pay to see Tom dressed up as Jessica Tandy? <laughs> from driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> Wearing like a nice church hat. I'll do that. Yes, you would. $1,000 to a charity. I'll, I'll, I'll do that for sure. The make, whole thing. Make, make it to my friends and at the Riley to Hospital. To drive absolutely. Chick. And Pat Godwin as Morgan Freeman. Oh. Now well, that, how, that, how that, as Morgan Freeman yeah, do we want to get? That's uh, problematic. Maybe, maybe, maybe just the hat. I don't want to get in trouble. Maybe. Ace? Yeah, man. Uh, Four thousand bucks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you don't get it. You're not. <laughs> Charity of Cosby. <laughs> well, that's that's for sure. Well, let's uh, let's move forward here. Once again, uh, uh, let's see. That would be Chick McGee, as you pointed yeah, out here in the Napa Auto one. Part Studios. There's a lot of beauty in the airwaves because we have uh, Is that right? Christy Lee right there. Aww, and I believe, sweet. do we have Thank Allie you. Breen on the phone? Yep, I'm here. What Hi, the, Allie. What wonderful, Hi, exotic location are you in this week, Allie? I'm in exotic New York. I'm back home. She was oh. in the Dominican Republic. New York City! <laughs> hey, hey, Allie, seriously, seriously, uh, can you adopt Christy? Yeah, uh, she you just, get to She go wants to everywhere. go to Mexico with you all the time. And, and Dominican she's, and India. Oh, she's amazing. Just dripping jealousy. Yeah. You have no idea. I am. You're coming on the next trip, 100%. Right. Great. Not only that, but you'll be there. So. <laughs> oh. You know, scissor fizz. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, guys, you know, girls can just be friends. Alex, let's go to Munch not town. Guys Allie, I need to tell you that, um, <laughs> well, I'm not going to mention any names here. Someone in the room has a bottle of bourbon next to their left hand. <laughs> Scissors. <laughs> I might be able to guess who. Nothing but scissoring. If anyone Feet. thinks I'm joking, if you Feet have the, if, if you the, have the cameras, hey, Jeff, can you zoom in it's on like the... It's like two octopuses kissing. Bottle of, <laughs> <laughs> bottle of bourbon over there. Mm-hmm. we got a hit song going on over there. We have the new, uh, we have the new Bob and Tom app, and if you have the VIP thing, you can see the cameras. And, or no, wait a minute. You can see what comes out of the cameras. You know what I'm saying. You can see the bourbon. I don't think anyone needs to see where the bourbon is. <laughs> okay, sorry. Allie Breen is in a... In my belly. <laughs> Lovely comedian. And uh, by the way, are you offended by comedian versus comedian? Oh, no, I don't care. I got a letter about that. Sorry. Are geez. you kidding me? No. Oh, I'm wow. Just trying to, whatever. I don't comic. Know. Comic offends me. I don't like comic. <laughs> Josh is an old comic, aren't oh. you, Josh? Yeah, I'm an old road dog. <laughs> hey. Oh, now I should explain. You're a good I need to comic. set. I need to oh, set the God. tone here, Allie. It's an unusual show today. Josh has been in a bad mood all day because he's. Have I? Yeah. He's, he I opened had... opened the show with this so wrong. With this very strong <laughs> trying to defend a point that he was making that turned out to be completely wrong. Uh, couldn't have been more. Ooh. He's so embarrassed. No, I'm really not, uh, Allie. Here's. I think. What I, was the point? Well. Tom said he was telling a story about how a vape set off a smoke alarm on a plane and how there was this whole... Yeah, this, this guy, this some actor who I've never heard of, he plays the, the dork, flash. whatever, the flash. And so I, said, I go, I don't buy this CW. for a second. I go, vapes don't set off smoke alarms. And then I looked it up, and they do. And I, I looked it up, and then on air, I said, oh, you know what? They do set off smoke alarms. It happens all the time, apparently. And Wrong. you apologized, huh. even. Yeah, I said, I, you know. Stupid. No, we got a great letter from a guy <laughs> named Larry, who's now the vice president of the Junior Windbag Society, pointing out uh, that even the, the name smoke alarm really isn't correct, because right. it involves some kind of, uh, I think, the atomic alarm. weight of uh, Well, and then we actually got a windbag oh. saying that that windbag was incorrect. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. Whoa. Smoke alarms. Uh, this this windbag goes on to say your undereducated windbag is full of hot air. Oh, 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 oh I love wow. this. You can have a windbag. Smoke fight. alarms have a small <laughs> amount of radioactive material between two electrically charged plates, which ionizes the air yes. and causes current to flow between the plates. Right. When smoke Nerd. enters the chamber, <laughs> it disrupts the flow of ions, thus reducing the flow of current and activating the alarm. It most certainly does not 
use beam radiation. Oh, I don't think I don't think Larry, my hero, was implying yeah. that. I yeah. think <laughs> I think, uh, I think Larry could be stupider than Josh, and I don't know if that. I, mean, I, I can't read Larry's letter right now. I'm having it laminated. Yeah, he gives him goes, give me that so I can have it laminated. Now you've lost it. I'm busy over here. <laughs> So Aaron and Larry will have to go to fisticuffs. Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah, uh, it's a windbag off. <laughs> so now, um, Allie, are, are you seeing anybody at present? Did we? Uh... No, I haven't gone on any dates. I think I'm pretty much a... Uh, oh, so I share guys know. out? Well, share guys, there was a lot of little things. Like, no, the, I think the, I told you. Explain, you this, guy, this guy you were seeing took you his first date. He took you to see the stage play Cher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then Barry Manilow on Monday, mm. right? Yeah, absolutely. And then he, there were a lot of, I think I told you, he would sit on the same side of the booth as me, which I wasn't into. And then walking down the street, have you ever had this, Christy, where someone, like a guy will put their arm around you, so you have to walk in sync with them? Oh, <laughs> like you're the monkeys? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord, exactly. what a psychopath. <laughs> I know, these are minor things, but there was enough. And also, I mean, this is really getting nitpicky, but when we would make out, he would... Like rub his tongue up against my teeth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there was a lot going on. Yeah. I wasn't into. Uh, that, that's that. No, that I, r yeah. up and out of the chair immediately. I don't mind. That. Yeah, well, it depends on how somebody it's done. you really like. No, oh, no. I feel like I'm scraping germs off his tongue with Ugh. my teeth when that happens. It grosses me out. Yeah, I'm with you. Say it like that. I just wanted to give him a feel, know. you know. <sighs> Tickle the ivories. Now, everywhere. so that leads to my next question. <laughs> what a joke. So when you dump this guy, do you do you text him and tell him it's over? Do you call him? Because we have this new word we're learning called ghosting. It's been out for Oh, ghosting's been out. For Let a me long rephrase time. it. It's I'm learning it for the for first them. time. Yeah, Tom <laughs> and I love this word. Of all because the new you words, you don't need it. You don't need to ghost anyone. No, but I still love the word. Okay. Whereas I yeah. hate, I hate the, if someone says hangry, I stop speaking to them because I know they're a moron. <laughs> you know, you go, you ghost a lot on like texts and stuff. You'll like uh, text one of us and. We'll text the question back, and we won't hear anything from you. That's because of my sister. What? Really? Mm -hmm. If my sister texts me from England, yeah. if I text her back, that means she's going to call me immediately. Oh, oh see, that's a brooch of I don't have that kind oh. of time. I don't have that kind of time. That's, <laughs> that's jarring, so, too. So I don't want her to get into the you habit of thinking I'm always available. Right. Too many people already think that, and if I don't respond immediately, they wonder what's going on. So You're on a phone call, stay on a phone call. You're on a text, stay on a text. Don't yes. uh, mix the stream. Yeah, but she doesn't understand that. Oh. So mm -hmm. in, in any event. So, Allie, are you, did you ghost this guy, or does he know that you, it's over? Yeah, no, he might be finding out right now, okay. actually. Oh. I don't know. Well, because I was away, and I had a chance to think about it, and it's going to be fine. It wasn't serious, but I... I wouldn't ghost him. I don't think I have to do a full out breakup because it wasn't. Uh, he was licking that your serious. teeth, Allie. Yeah. <laughs> cheek. All right. It was serious enough for that. Oh. Teeth. No, teeth. Yeah, he was, yeah, he yeah. He was teeth. licking her teeth. Oh, that's teeth. even grosser. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's that's just weird. And taking hey. you to see Cher, that's wrong. Cher the musical, not Cher Cher. Either way. I, although I bet it would have come. I think she's coming to the Barclays. So we probably would have gone to see the real share too if I stayed in this. So has he texted you? Since oh, he's going to he's gonna text you and yeah. ask you to go to the share. Yeah, oh. Well, we were texting a little What's bit. What's his back Twitter handle? I'm not gay. At I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> and I swear, I'm not gay. <laughs> not me. No way gay. Um, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like boys, do you? I mean, <laughs> well, so so you're once again single and on the hunt. Uh, yeah, single and on the hunt. Okay. Except the, the on the hunt part's a lot of work. I think I'm not going to be on the hunt for a while. We'll okay. see what happens. Well, for those that are on the hunt, we have you uh, going through the mail. Do you have any good letters for us? Sure. Here we go. Dear Allie, I live in the downstairs floor of a duplex apartment with my husband and two kids. A young guy moved into the apartment above us and has super loud sex a few times a night, most days of the week. <laughs> I brought it up to the landlord who didn't do anything about it. Now, should I talk to the tenant and explain to him that I have young kids? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can be cool about it. Oh. I think the guy would understand. You think? Yeah, yeah. I think he would too. I think a guy who has loud sex and doesn't think about it uh, would not understand. Yeah, I think this guy's probably... Here's what I used to do, because this happened to me in my last apartment. Yeah. I would hear... Either, no, wait, which side of the uh, argument are you on here? I, well, I was, I was oh, on, you the, were on the, the first you, floor. Oh, I thought you were going to say you were the loud Were guy. you the guy oh. having... Yeah. What was that? <laughs> uh, occasionally, but I don't know that they could hear me. But, but I could always hear them above me, if, whether they were fighting or 
having sex. It was always one of the two. And when they would have sex, <laughs> when it was too loud and I couldn't take it anymore, I would start yelling, yeah, <laughs> get it, get it. All right. <laughs> and you, and, and you're, usually. You're, your voice really carries. Yes. Too, and usually say. they it would get quieter. Oh, sure. my. So I would just let them know I could hear everything. You Wouldn't they just think there's a game on or something downstairs? <laughs> you got to time. You need one of these, and you got to time it right. <laughs> it was, get it, talking. Betty. Get it. <laughs> She's digging it now. Thrust. And the, the opposite would happen too. When they were fighting, I would just go break up, end it. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you? I so. think yeah, she should yeah. talk to the young man. I think he would be understanding, even if. I, I, he'll Gotta still have it in the neighbors. back of his mind that there are kids downstairs that might help. Wait, I'm sorry. Is this a woman who's going to talk to him, or is it a guy? No, it a, is a woman. A woman. Oh, She's but she married. has her. But she has a husband. Yes. I think yeah. the husband needs to talk to him. Yes. Oh, that's a good point. It's pretty creepy. It's a weird situation. I mean, hey, dude, man, I totally get it. That's great, but try to keep it down. Yeah, I got kids trying to sleep. Yeah. I don't know. He's not going to do it. I, Chick and I know. are on the same. This you guy's not going to do it. don't know that. This guy's unreasonable. He's a selfish You may have no idea that there are kids living <laughs> underneath his bed. No, he probably room. makes potato <laughs> stroganoff all the time, smells up the whole building. <laughs> same guy. <laughs> same guy. <laughs> Is that the guy with the curry? That wouldn't be bad. Yeah, a lot of curry. A lot no, he's, of, he's, oh. ma he's making the noise for the benefit of Probably many, just of an Al-Qaeda cells with <laughs> his apartment. Not. We all know He it. enjoys making these showing So you don't off. make any noise at all? You're quiet as a church mouse. Is that what you're telling uh, me? The gentleman does not discuss such items. Oh. <laughs> Here's Tom completing. <clears throat> uh -oh. <laughs> That's it. Uh, th uh, th thank you very much. I'll see you back in three minutes. Thank, thank you, my lady. The pregnancy <laughs> test is in the drawer. That's right. But really, there's no need for a test. No. We uh, all I, know I, I need to shower. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, right now, I'd like to talk to you about Roman. <laughs> 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 yes, we all have our little... Uh, <laughs> Christy, what do you have the news? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you look at... Okay, like Christy will be up with the news here in just a moment. Check from the... Orange and Zoltan I'm going to go take a shower. I'll be right back. Thank you. Next. <laughs> what do you got, Allie? What else is next? Uh, dear Allie, my boyfriend is amazing in almost every way. Uh -oh. Loyal, generous, thoughtful, and always takes me out to nice places. Oh, oh. Like a good dog. Yes. I am a huge fan of theater. Oh, I should set her up with my, uh, yeah, my guy. Share. I'm a huge fan of theater, which he's not, and I really wanted to see a show that I was sure he'd take me to. When I brought it up, he said, no way that he couldn't stand theater. <laughs> it made me realize that all the amazing places he's taking me are the places he also wants to go to and that he'll never sacrifice to take me somewhere I want to go if he doesn't want to. Go with a girlfriend. I yeah. tried explaining it to him and he said, well, why do you want me to do something that would make me miserable? But he's completely missing the point and it's super frustrating. I'm My with friends Christiana. have husbands that will sacrifice. Why can't I have a guy that sacrifices okay. too? If he's amazing in every other way and yeah. all you've got to do is go to the theater with your girlfriend. Yeah, she's wrong about it. this. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. I don't think there's any telling her that. You yeah. suffering, you suffering makes it fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I mean, you there, there, there are many times when we will, uh, Kelly and I will split up things. I, I don't want to do that and she'll do it. Because you're it. mature right. adults. Right, yes. and we share. Yeah. You go, okay, and, and I'll do that. We all know it. Kelly's about to have it. <laughs> sure. So, <laughs> but I'm sure if he asked her to go to a, maybe she's not a basketball fan. I'm using this as an example. Maybe he doesn't want to. She doesn't want to go to the basketball. She goes, "Hey, take a buddy, go to the basketball game. I don't want to sit through that. It makes me miserable." There no. you go. No but, kidding. I mean, if this right. is a deal breaker, she's got issues. She, you're not yeah. in love. Yeah, let her go out and try to find someone. Yeah, I can't think I of anything say, that would come yeah. up that I wouldn't participate in because. I, or you go, no, I don't care for it. Why don't you just go have it? And she yeah, goes, okay, great, exactly. but I still yeah. love you. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> right. I yeah. I mean, I love concerts, but there's many times I've gone, no, nope, I'm not going. Sure. I, I, hate yeah, that. Right. I, I hate that band and I hate their fans. And she'll go with a girlfriend, that. right? Yeah. You know, a lot of yeah. times it is the fans that, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Those people. There's yeah. some bands I love, but they're fans. No, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I, I, could, I could give a list of names, uh, but uh, I won't. Uh, <laughs> they know yeah. who they are. Allie, I think we've gotten this one right for the first time. Okay, let's go to our good next letter. Allie Breen is our guest, the lovely comedian, once again, cruising New York, looking for that man. That's so <laughs> Okay. <laughs> On the prowl. All right. Dear Allie, I've been single and dating a lot over the last year and keep encountering something no one talks about. 
a lot of men, when you go down on them, have smelly balls. Ah! Like French cheese. <laughs> what just happened here? A like bit, a French a little, cheese. A little, a little bit graphic. Stop dating hobos. <laughs> like French cheese that's been left out for days. What the heck? Take a shower. A lot of men, she's saying. Yes, sir. What is the name of the bus station that you are... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a little what too graphic. What are they graphic. doing? Are they dating after a tennis match? Uh, yeah, no oh. kidding. Yeah, I, and first, All right, go and, on. And, oh, by the way, though, uh, could you please publish her name? Apparently, these dates, she's quite active and quite intimate quite quickly. Uh, I keep finding these men under bridges. And, uh, <laughs> they date only coal miners. <laughs> yeah. and That's the amazing. And their cardboard beds are... Yeah, I... I can't believe so she, that. Well, then she goes on to say... Well, be careful okay? what you say here. Why is it okay for men to complain about women in this area, but women never complain about men down here? It's not. If a guy really reeks, you got to let him know. Yeah, you just don't Take do it. Shower. Yeah, call him out. Yeah. yeah. And go, hey, I'm not doing that Maybe, ever again. Yeah, give him a subtle hint. Take out a couple of rubber gloves. <laughs> and then, yeah. and then a, a, a scuba mask. A mask and an wipe. SLS pad. <laughs> <laughs> and say, nothing's going to be happening until we take care of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I um No, there's a there is a double standard, but you just tell them. But also, I can't I don't think this is a big problem. She says it happens constantly. No, she well, needs to leave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she needs to leave the lower west side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, again, uh, the <laughs> Penn station is not the place <laughs> necessarily to be cruising. Okay, Allie, that's it. If people want to get a hold of you, Allie. How do they send you letters? What do they do? Uh, social media at Allie Breen is perfect. Instagram or Twitter, direct message or Facebook. And Allie is an A L L I B R E E N. Perfect. Did you go with one of your uh, famous girlfriends to uh, the Dominican Republic? Yeah, I went with my friend Heidi, who she had actually had. Oh, Swiss girl? <laughs> <laughs> she is uh, Norwegian. <laughs> Get close. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lost, uh, her, lost her grandfather? Yeah. Sad, sad story. It was sad. sad story. I saw the video of you with all the water cascading. Yeah, oh, my God. Your, ripping that your suit That was painful. What? Well, that was yeah. funny. So I went with my friend, and she just got, she did this, like, facial thing, this oh, yeah? facial peel. So she had to hide for oh. three days. Facial peel. Okay. Just take a wash oh. <laughs> Don't stop after the word facial. Just take a washcloth. You don't know. <laughs> From the... So, yeah, so I was the one doing all the water activity. That was, uh, water that was the harshest. Yeah, all of this <laughs> is not sounding the way it's meant to sound. It's a great, it's yeah, a great. While my girlfriend was getting a facial, I was doing the water sports. <laughs> I assume is water sports some pornographic term I'm not aware yeah, of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The word golden might be in there somewhere. Oh. Water that's sports. what that's called? Water, water sports? sports? Yeah. It, it is. Like, well, okay, whatever. <laughs> Can you grow up and go outdoors, <laughs> please? Oh, yeah, no, it's about to be outdoors. I it's think it is. How are you not aware of I don't mix my toilet hat habits with my uh, love life. Well, most of us don't, but uh, yeah, who are we to judge? You okay. need to be aware of this stuff. Okay. Let's say you're out with someone and they go, hey, we're going to do some water sports Let's later. just, look, the main I, point go, is Allie love... likes to be peed on. All right, let's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, don't lose sight of that. Okay. <laughs> Allie, sorry. Let's get to the bottom line. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's, I told you they're drinking. That is so. definitely not right. Allie, thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, Allie. Talk to you next time. Bye, Great. guys. Okay. See ya.